The new Longin Spirit Flyback Chronograph is here and it's a nice evolution of the Spirit Collection. So let's take a closer look at the watch. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Alex and in this video we're going to take a closer look at the recently launched Longin Spirit Flyback Chronograph. So last year I made a video of the Longin Spirit Zulu Time. I leave the link up here and down in the description for that video if you're interested in the watch that features a GMT complication. This year it's time for Longin to further evolve the Spirit collection with a flyback chronograph. This is an interesting move from Longin. They are moving up a bit in the price bracket so it's interesting to see how they will do with their more exclusive pieces because this watch is a really nice watch with very nice build quality and an interesting movement. So it's going to be interesting to see how it does in terms of numbers. And um, I know some people have some concerns regarding this watch and we'll get into that momentarily. But I must say in terms of finishing and execution, I think that the Longin Spirits collection overall is a great entry level type of watch in the premium segment. If you're looking for something with a robust build quality, nice movements and a great finish. So let's jump into the basics of the watch. The watch is introduced in two different models. We have a black dial version and a blue dial version. The watch comes in a stainless steel case that measures 42 millimeter in diameter and is 17 millimeters thick. So this is where most people like shrug back a bit regarding the thickness uh, but it, it is a hefty piece and it's not suited for everyone's wrist. If you're interested in the watch I guess you should try it on as you should always do. As I mentioned earlier in the video the finish is very nice. We have a brushed stainless steel case with a large and fat polished bevel on the case side. I like how Longchain executes the case finishes on the Spirit collection. This is something we saw on the Spirit Zulu time as well as on the Spirit 39 and 37 as well. In terms of how the case looks and feels, I think it looks and feels really good. The watch is available in five different versions. So for the black dial version, we have the stainless steel bracelet, which features polished accents on the center links and a trifold folding clasp. We have a brown leather strap for the black dial version as well as a beige NATO strap. When it comes to the blue dial version it comes on either the bracelet of course or a textile strap in blue as well. So what I like about these straps and the clasps for the Longin bracelets that are not in steel is that they have this very nice micro adjustment feature and also all bracelets and the, the watches of course have their quick switch system so to change between the leather strap and the bracelet is a process that doesn't take that long time. The watch is water resistant down to 100 meters and to operate the chrono and the, the, the functions of the chronograph with the pushers is a they give a distinct nice feeling to them so they feel solid and distinct which I like uh, that's usually one of those things that if a chronograph's pushers are a bit flimsy or not so distinct that's a big turnoff but I must say to operate the chronograph is a joy actually talk a bit about the dials so as I said, we have a blue and black dial with sunray finish. The dial layout is two registers, so it's a bi-compax uh, chronograph with the 30-minute chronograph counter on the right and the small seconds counter on the left. Pretty nice dial execution. We have some design aspects on this watch as well present on the other spirit uh, watches such as these diamond cut luminous markers around the outer perimeter of the dial which is a very nice touch. We have applied roman numerals that are filled with superluminova and that goes for the hands as well. On the dial we have the Longin logo just below 12 o'clock and above 6 o'clock we have the model name and the five stars that we also have seen previously in different models from the Spirit collection. Each version comes with a matching ceramic insert in the bezel, so black and blue ceramic inserts. The case back is a exhibition type case back, so sapphire glass on both the back and the front of this watch. And talking about the exhibition case back, let's have a closer look on the movement itself. So this is the launching caliber L791. This is an ETA caliber, so exclusive for launching. 
It is a chronograph movement with a column wheel and the flyback function. It packs 68 hours of power reserve. It beats at 4 Hz or 28,800 vibrations per hour. We have nice decoration on the movement as well, a nicely engraved rotor. We have perlage decoration on the bridges and also a blued column wheel and blued screws. So it's a pretty nicely finished movement uh, from launch in. Also it's COSC certified, so chronometer certified, so it's guaranteed a minus four to plus six deviation per day, which is nice. So this is clearly a you know, move from Lanshin to try and fill out that space that Omega has left behind. So we're talking the around 5K segments, you know, where the Speedmaster used to be, where there's nothing really right now, but Lanshin is trying to fill out that gap. So it's going to be very interesting to see in the future how they will manage with that. Uh, usually Lanshin watches have been more accessible at the price from 2 to 3K maybe. Uh, and not so much above that, uh, with some exceptions, of course. But they are now with the, especially with the Spirit Collection and the Zulu Time, and now the Flyback, trying to to like claim that area. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how they will do in the future. I must say that they are releasing some really nice pieces the last couple of years. Especially the Spirit Collection is one of my favorite Flanchin. Um, they're doing some nice work. I've seen some other novelties that will come out later this year that are also very interesting. So they're doing a great job basically at the moment. Price-wise, speaking of you know how they position themselves and so on, the Spirit Flyback is priced at around 5,000 euros uh, depending on your market. Um, so it's it's quite a lot of money for a launch in, but considering how you know how much effort they put in the movements, the cases and stuff like that, I don't think it's not a justified price tag. I think it's a very nice chronograph for the price. And uh, it's just a matter of if you like the size or if you don't. But as a package with the movement, with the case, with the dials, uh, it's a very nice watch. So yeah, with that said, pros and cons, the finish, the movement, the looks of the watch, you have somewhat a vintage inspired chronograph that's not a heritage model that still looks a bit refreshing. Great build quality, great finish. And on the downside for me, of course, with my 16.5 centimeter wrist or 6.5 inches, it's very tough to wear this one with confidence considering it's 42 millimeter large case and 17 millimeter thickness. All right, guys, that's it for this time. Let me know in the comments what you think about the new Longchain Spirit Flyback Chronograph. I'd love to hear your thoughts and continue the discussion down in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.